As you can see, I have that spindle off the tractor. The oil seal is located in this area here. That's the one I'm replacing. As you can see, the bottom of this housing, there is no sheet metal cap in there like on some of the others that I've seen on YouTube. Next, well, as you can see, first of all, I put this in the uh, parts cleaner and cleaned it up a little bit. I'll do that some more later. But there's bolts on the bottom side here. You'll need to take these bolts out. That's what will separate the two halves. In order to get the spindle out of this knuckle, you'll have to remove those bolts. And you'll want to be careful. After you get the bolts out, flip it back over and put the hub side down. And then work. There's some grooves here. Get yourself some pry bars on each side. There's a, a couple of uh, lineup keys right here and right here. So you'll have to work that apart. But you want to keep this flange down. You don't have to take this apart unless that there's an oil seal in here that could be leaking. If that's leaking, then all bets are off. Uh, there's two little banana clips in there that hold this uh, axle and, and hub to the unit. And those little banana clips aren't held in by anything but the uh, viscosity of the oil. And then there's a, a bevel gear in here I'll show you later. And on the bottom side of that bevel gear, there's a recess that uh, fits over top of those two banana clips and they uh, they're held in by that recess all right I'm gonna uh, go ahead and take this apart now <laughs> 